Good afternoon. Bon. Thanks for the Bonjour. call. Bonjour. What? Bonjour. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Yeah. I'm uh, all set I'm up, good. ready to rock. Yeah. <laughs> Almost. I just had to adjust the curtains behind me. Oh, I say curtains. I don't even know what they're called. Um, Probably sun's going to go in and blinds? out and all that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah, they're blinds. They look like blinds. So, yeah. Venetians, yeah, I think. I so. Venetians? Venetian blinds. Oh. You know, in Venice, they just call them blinds. True. <laughs> True. I, I tried to think of something funny and witty to say there. No. Oh, is it? Is it got to that point? It's got, it's got of to the that week. point. Of, yeah. of quarantine. Yeah. Oh, good. Anyway, we're back. So, twenty six. This is episode twenty six. Twenty six. I almost hell. said twenty five, but yeah. I was just just promoting twenty five. Mm. It's just very confusing. All this. All yeah. of the, All of this. These things. Number, so. Uh huh. Go for it. I, I have something. To, I have something to, uh, to tell you. Mm-hmm. You know how. <laughs> <laughs> you know how uh, it it was getting really bad with the coronavirus, and then we talked about an asteroid. Yeah. Well, now there's a volcano. <laughs> Where? And uh, in uh, Indonesia, Krakatoa. Oh. And apparently, it's got it's. Uh, it, they had a full thirty eight minutes of it exploding. And I'm actually I'm going to go out of my way and put the footage up now uh, because it's incredible. Holy just shit. a bit of it. It's just That's it's insane. just it is insane. There's Fucking there's lightning hell. going on wow. inside the. Uh, the inside the explosion Fucking hell. and i just i saw that and was like great what's next that is that's <laughs> a pretty tsunami nuts. that is pretty mad yeah but the, apparently uh, everyone's safe and everything it's not it's it's only about 11 miles away from i think it's jakarta the capital but it, it, everyone's that you know it's not a it's not a big one but it looks really impressive Jesus. so well i'm not i was gonna pop brown but i'm not bother now yeah don't bother going to I'll, indonesia i'll just stay in is it within mm. six meters of my house or something no it's not no then it well, doesn't matter. Here, Never happened. But the, the asteroid thing, because I yeah. had a couple of people messed me going, like, how dangerous is this asteroid thing? And I was like, well, <laughs> we're probably not. Like, speaking <laughs> as a meteorologist expert, Dylan Osborne. <laughs> I was like, well, I'm probably not the, the person to ask, because like, we just threw it up there on, on a podcast, and maybe you should just do some Googleage yourself. <laughs> So because uh, that's what we did. Yeah, that's how we get the facts. Yeah, because Pamela was like, "That was a little bullshit. That didn't even happen." I was like, "Well, it did." And then we Google Googleizationalized it, and there it was asteroid. No harm to anyone. They overreacted. Yeah, but it wouldn't make for a good episode. It's like no, a volcano no. going off. Yeah, you know? it's like how often do you get to write "There's an asteroid" as as a title? <laughs> <laughs> so this this title will yeah, be we're... COVID asteroids. Oh fuck! There's a volcano. We'll make that the now there's a volcano yeah. <laughs> now there's a volcano yeah exactly what and next yeah i mean yesterday we were basically talking about a volcano that also could have erupted but that's a whole different kind of story um on to uh you didn't tag him by the way i know i didn't have a heart i i, I and we didn't even mean anything by it so i, I don't know why i was worried um, we won't he won't get upset because in his new way of thinking he loves everyone so True I that. think he'd actually probably kind of find, I might it, just find it funny. Send, I might just send it to him and say, here you go. Um, yeah. And see what happens. But check this out, right? Went out in the one wheel today. Oh, yeah? Have you still I, got your front teeth? Yeah, because I, I had to go down to the... I had to get, well, basically, long story short, we were like, dude, if we're going to need any food, any more meat to barbecue over there, because we forgot it was Easter. We're like, if we're going to need yeah. anything over the next few days, best go get it now. Um, yeah. It was a classic... Um, girl tells guy to do something that guy knows is a bad idea but girl doesn't really mm-hmm. give a shit and tells him to go do it anyway and guy looks at her like <laughs> are you fucking kidding me if you had told me this earlier I would have done this at a suitable time and then girl goes I don't give a fuck get it done and guy's like fuck my life it was one of those moments at 2 o'clock mm. in, on, a, on a Saturday because you're listening to this on a Sunday but this is a Saturday when we were recording this but 2 o'clock mm. Saturday Pamela goes I think you should go out to the butcher and get some meat Oh no, she did. She didn't. She did it that way. She didn't go. Can you go down to the well, butcher? Well, she, she went, did. She was way I more polite than that. She was like, I think. I think we. You know, if we, if we want to do any barbecuing, it was okay. Let's just retract that because it was said. It was said nothing like that. It was much. I was just giving it attitude. But it was like, hey, if we want to do a barbecue over the next few days, we should get some meat from the butchers. So if you want to do that, mm. that would be a good idea, wouldn't it? And I was like, yeah, that's a great idea. Maybe you should go down to the butchers now then and get it. That would probably because at least we have it. And I was like, now, two o'clock on a Saturday. COVID. What else were you doing? I, honestly, 
Yeah, I want to know. Guess what were I was you, doing. Were you sunning? You were sunning your jam roll, weren't you? <laughs> I had my asshole out to the to the elements. No, I was. No jokes aside, I was lying in my hammock with my shirt off, sunbathing. Uh, sunning, sunning your nipples. You suck. Yeah, sunning yeah, my belly as button. The ancient, ancient Aztec ritual yeah. of sunning your nipples. Yeah, brown and my nips. So I was there, brown and my nips. <laughs> Pamela was sitting <laughs> under an umbrella. Oh my god! Um, okay. Which, by the way, she she was like, "Oh, it's too hot. The sun's too hot." And I was like, "Sweet baby Jesus." So she was like, "I said, do you want me to get the f- umbrella? Uh, we have one of those big parasols. Do you want to get the parasol mm-hmm. out of the yeah. shed?" Yeah, of course. Now this parasol's been in the shed for the last eight months since the last time the mm-hmm. sun was out. And uh, <laughs> I say, like, "Well, I'll go get this out because it's been in the shed, tucked away. It's it's long and." Uh, we left it in the rain and it rusted the bit that you unscrew it so it has to remain as one long piece so you have to oh, okay, maneuver yeah. it like diagon alley into mm. the uh, shed <laughs> alright <laughs> yeah there you go and uh, then I decided to fuck all my bikes into the shed so that I could make space in the garage to build a studio so of course it, it wouldn't come out so I was like, doing, fucking pulling it and twisting it and fucking. I could have just taken the bikes out one by one, but that felt like too big of a task because I'm that guy that yeah. gets all the bags out of the boot of the car in one go and then shuffles into the house rather than just doing two trips. So I was like, I'm not yeah. gonna take the bikes out. Fuck that. We'll just we'll work. This will we'll work it out. So I maneuvered and bent and kicked and twisted and shit, and I got it to no joke. Right, the the brolly was coming out of the the shed door but it was stuck and then there's a little yeah. thread thing you can unscrew on the top so i unscrewed that yeah. and then it got stuck by about six mil and yeah. that was it there was nowhere it, nothing was budging so i went right so, it's a yeah. bit of wood shooty if i just give it a bit of flex bend it down and then pop it out and i bent it and just as it was about to come up snaps in half whole thing snaps in half and i was like you motherfucker i'm surprised you just didn't take the roof off the garage <laughs> Because I am a builder. To get it I, know my, I know my buildings. <laughs> I know. And it would have made a great story. Oh, dude, it was you know, fucking... That... Uh, it was so frustrating because this, I fixed it by getting the two bits of wood and fucking them onto the ground and then just pouring wood glue on it. And my, my kids are standing looking at me going, is that super glue? And I was like, no. And they're like, what is it? I was like, it's wood glue. And they're like, what's it for? Oh, my God. It's for glue and wood together, guys. Will it work? Of course it will work. So wood glue followed by four cable ties followed by uh-huh. four screws followed by two bits of wood screwed across it followed by more <laughs> zip ties so it's like i've created a splint and i'll give you Any the hookers? photograph just so the folks can see it at home but this is what it looks like what do you think okay um it's impressive it works very very impressive it works and that's the thing so there i am of course this is one of those things like i was just lying on the hammock sunning my nipples and then Pamela going about the sun, <laughs> and then I'm rebuilding a parasol. So get that shit oh up, pop God. the fucking parasol up, stick that thing up, wind it in, set it all up. Pamela, here's your parasol. Thanks, dear. No worries. Put a little chair out for her. She goes and sits down. Get back in the hammock. Nips out. Lie yeah. down. Right? <laughs> and then we get, do you think you could go to the butchers? Oh. I was like, for fuck's sake. Did you go? Of course I did. I was like, fucking, now... She's like, yeah. I was like, oh. and then I thought, actually, do you know what? If I get to go on the one wheel, I'm all for it. So there I go. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was yeah. like a fucking pig in shit, all right? Mm. In my shorts, t-shirt, cap backwards, vans, yeah. no socks, one wheeling like a motherfucker down the middle of the main road because there's no cars. Mm-hmm. I was just like, I was cruising, dude. I felt like Living I needed, life. yeah. I just felt like I needed some sort of like. There's a song I wish I knew I knew the name, but I can't remember what it is. Oh, you need you like Boys of Summer by Don. Uh, is it Don Henley? No, not Boys of Summer. Do you I know the song they you. sing um, in Anchorman? Ooh. When gonna find my baby, gonna hold her tight, gonna make some afternoon delight, something like that. Oh yeah. Just me wheeling. Surprise! If you want that song, you should have had your cowboy hat on. I know that was just the vibe. That was what I was vibing with. I was just, I was cruising, bro, left to right, left to right. People were looking at me like that. Someone's gonna kill your vibe. No, no one was killing my vibe at this point. I legit just living the fucking high life, man. And people were looking at me like, fucking, what's Marty McFly doing? (laughs) Yeah. 
you know? He's not sunning his nips. And then, yeah, and then I That's roll up to the butchers, <laughs> super cool, right up to the door. I've worked out the power yeah. slide on the back. I've worked out how to slam the back down so you can slide it. Oh, please tell me you, when you were going down the road, you went past like a gym and you waved at all the girls in the gym. Uh, yeah. Doing their uh, girls, exercises. Just girls, that, just girls drinking milkshake outside a gym. Psst, oh my yeah. god! Doing a fire Looking very eighties. Gonna hold her yeah. tight. So there I am. Rock up, yeah. skid up to the butcher, <laughs> motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Jump off, walk up to the door. Ah, there's a queue of a million people. <laughs> queue oh, down yeah. the street, which I didn't look like a queue for the butchers, but now given the six yeah. feet rule, so I say quite loudly to everybody, "Y'all for the butchers?" And they're like, "Yep." Yeah. So there I go, just stand at the back. And then did you have to do that thing where you pretty much one wheeled all the way home to get to the back of the queue? Yeah, well, it was about it was about fifteen meters from the door of the butchers down the street. It was only like six oh, people, but I had to lift God. the one wheel up and then fucking. Then it becomes heavy and cumbersome, and you like move it down. And then there's people walking past, and then people are doing weird shit. And then you're in this weird environment of people who've left the house during a pandemic, where everyone's been told try not to leave the house unless it's like essential. And I was like, well, yeah. it's food. I'll, I'm not going near. I'm not near anybody. I'm not part. I'm going to the local butchers. It'll be fine. So we're all standing six mm. feet apart. But then there's people walking past, mm-hmm. and I'm like, cool. If you want to walk past, don't cough at me. Don't rub on me. I'm, I just turn my head mm. a bit. But then there's people who are being like all fucking weird about it. You know, like oh fuck, oh shit. If I walk past this guy, I'll be two feet away. That's illegal. What? And then they just walk off. Just walk through the traffic car straight into the road without even looking yeah. at it. I'm like, and then there's a guy walking up the road with his wife and his dog, right? Now it's two mm-hmm. o'clock Saturday, sun fucking, sun's out. He's got a big, mm. like, fucking make art now mask on his face. Big black, uh. <laughs> full on mask. <laughs> and these big yeah, yeah, fucking black this, gloves. Yeah. And he's walking yeah. his like Alsatian. He's an, you know the Alsatian yeah. owners, you know what I mean? Yeah, fucking, yeah, yeah, always yeah, yeah. Fucking, always tugging back on the motherfucker. And you're like, yeah. I'm like, just yeah. get a poodle. You know that because it means you don't actually have control. Who runs that relationship? The yeah. dog. Yeah. And they do it. They mm. think they look cool as fuck. Like, checks me out, Alsatian. And you're mm. like, well, that just looks like a fucking pain in the ass the whole time. So he's, he's yeah. there and his wife's walking there. Guess what her mm. mask looked like? Uh, is it black? No, it's her face because she's or not is... wearing one. Oh, okay. Or gloves. But he's kitted out like a fucking power ranger walking down the street but and i thought maybe he's got the virus okay so i thought yeah. if you are wearing a mask and gloves you are mm. that concerned about the whole mm-hmm. situation in some way which is fine no judgment there but if you're mm-hmm. that concerned that you're going to dress like the black power ranger to leave the house mm-hmm. don't walk down the main road past all the shops where you know the people will be at two o'clock on a motherfucking saturday just do uh, yeah, it see, first I, thing in the morning, you bell end. I think, see, this is the whole thing. I, I think that it's <laughs> it's people like that, basically, where I, we, we get them up here. They, they walk around uh, with all the gear on, you know, blue face masks, blue gloves, all that stuff. Then when I, they walk along the road and I'm waiting for Yasmin because we're only allowed one person in the shop at the time. So I'll stand back. You know, get my back against the wall. I can't go anywhere. Yeah, bums and to these the wall. bastards, because bums to the wall, absolutely. And these guys go past, and they literally walk about two feet away from you, yeah. less than that. And it's like you've got six feet, maybe eight feet worth of pavement yeah. that they could go around. And it's like just because you've got a mask and gloves on, doesn't mean you're immune. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't mean I'm immune uh, from you. Yeah. Well, and the other thing as well, mate, you're in your late fifties, sixties. Maybe even early seventies. Yeah. You know, because you can't really tell because you've got a mask on. Yeah. I, I'm pretty sure that you, you're gonna have to worry about this more than me. Yeah. You know, statistically. Yeah. But it's just like that. You just it's that attitude of I've got this shit on. It doesn't affect me. Yeah. It just and it's just oh just go away just get go on. Yeah. Just ah. Oh. It's piss. It's so annoying. <sighs> And it's just like, mm. but why come out? I don't understand why come out in busy times to busy areas. If you're if you're concerned enough to wear masks and gloves, just come out like yeah. 9 a.m. Do it 9 a.m. Pop down, yeah. it'll be empty. Or do it this afternoon where you know it's quiet. And if you're just out for a walk with your dog, just fucking walk anywhere but past all the shops and pharmacies. Yeah. Now, there weren't know, a lot like... of people out. And those of us that were out were being very clever about it. You know, keeping mm. our distance. We all had our measuring yeah. tapes out. And it's like, all right, we're playing it cool. But then there's just like, there's just people that don't give a fuck. And you're just like, what is nah. what well, actually I going think, on? But the thing is, is they only half don't give a fuck. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. You know, it's like, I'm going to do this much, but then what your actions are complete, they're not congruent with like 
what you're actually believing. There's a, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, you're, like you said, you know, he's got the gloves and everything, but then why come out at this time? Yeah. And then secondly, why doesn't your wife have them on as well? Yeah, if you're that concerned. You know, if you're that concerned, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. So Certainly. it's like, you know, um, I, I don't know. And I think there are still people going out and having fun and what have you, because uh, our old neighbours upstairs, they, um, oh, they yeah. left about four or five hours ago. Huh? Not back. And as far as I'm aware, it doesn't take four or five hours for you to go shopping. Well, maybe they're staying in the queue. They could well be, but I highly doubt it because they're in their 20s. And, so and the, the shit thing is with them, it's like whatever. you're sharing a, a door, aren't you? Like a main door from the street. Oh, I'm pretty confident, though, that Yasmin and I aren't going to get it because we're pretty safe about stuff. You know, yeah, but, they are, but, yeah, but what about them touching doors and shit? Touch another thing. Uh, yeah, but we t- we like clean our side of things. But like, oh. I-, I think everyone has their karma, Dylan. Just saying. Yeah. It'll come back. It will come back. And you know, dick you up the ass when you least expect it. <laughs> I kind of hope that yeah. you know. Sometimes I look at people. and I'm like, one day, you know, when you least yeah. expect it. One of the things is it someone won't will be kick you in the bollocks. It won't necessarily be coronavirus, but it is a no. It is everyone has their own karma. So like, if yeah, if it's if you're a bit of a dick doing dick things, at some point it'll get you. So you're obviously a you believer know? in karma then. Oh, massive! I massive believer in karma. I am too. You know, um, I think yeah. If you do a whole load of dickish things, it, it's like uh, you get out what you put in. You yeah. know. Yeah. And I think yeah. Obviously, there are times when you think, oh, why do why are all these assholes so rich and you know, they made all this money and it's like, yeah, but what you don't always see is that they have a shitty family relationship. Their parents never love them. You know, they've got no, all that kind of crap. And you yeah. think, wow, what a miserable life you have. But hey, great. You own 400 grand a year. Yeah. And like no one ever. And I think that's the karma, isn't it? If yeah. you're going to be an asshole and trample over people in order to be rich and famous, yeah. then you're probably going to be miserable at some point or die miserable and alone. And yeah, uh, yeah welcome to the podcast. This is uh, Ryan and didn't have a great time. Yeah. So, we're at, so if we're at, you weren't ready to kill yourself, you will be now. You will be now. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Um, it's all right. You'll be up again on Monday. By the way, like Harry Potter. Yeah. The Lord, oh, the, ref- the Savior, yeah, Harry the Lord, Potter. Lord, Harris, Lord and Savior, Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Um, yeah. But that aside, I, I I did get what I needed from the butchers. All right, mm-hmm. and then I left. But while I was in there, the the butcher because there's a local. T- there's another guy in there basically today who I don't normally chat yeah. to. And he was like, all right, mate. And anyway, I got all, everything I needed. And then he's like, this is, I said, I'll set up something else on it. And I was like, what? What? You, coronavirus. What's your... And he's all, aye. And I'm like, yeah, this I'll set up. Which basically just means like, fuck this shit. And I was like, <laughs> okay, ah, right, yeah, but yeah. sure, you got to do what you got to do. Yeah. And he goes, ah, I know. Yeah. Just makes doing things difficult, doesn't it? And I was like, yeah, yeah, it does. Where's he from? He's from somewhere in Northern Ireland. I'm just giving him a generic Northern Ireland accent, right? Okay. And he, I and he was like, I was like, yeah, yeah, I mean, of course. And he goes, work affected. And I was like, yes, and no. Oh. Bits. And I thought, I can't, don't give a f-. like, yes, and you no. You know what's happened? Like, the weather has been replaced by COVID nineteen. Yes, hasn't it? Yes, but but also idle, the weather has also chit-chat. brought out a lot of this. Like, I find the weather brings out idle chit chat if the if it's pissing down with rain people just fucking run in the shop get what they need leave when yeah. it's sunny everyone wants to when you approach another person they want to look at you look at the weather and go ah oh, fucking here yeah have some what a weekend to be indoors huh and I was like here it could be yeah. worse you could be dead yeah so give me my meat and let yeah. me just crack back onto my my one wheel up the street so eventually I got yeah. the fuck out of there and then did that thing that I love hop on the one wheel everyone's like what the fuck's that guy on because people do. Yeah. That's what's great about it. people look and they go, "What? Do, how the fuck does that work?" And then there I go, <laughs> off into the sunset, yeah. like into the future, yeah, yeah. like Marty McFly. See you later, lads. And I'm off. Where I'm going, we don't need yeah. roads. Where I'm go- yeah, we don't need COVID. <laughs> we don't need masks. So then I, yeah. I dust off the street, up the road, and mm-hmm. uh, past the house, drop off the meat and the shit that we got. And I said to Pam, like, like I'm just going to go up past the off license. So I one wheeled up Hang to on the a off license. Why? Be, that's Didn't you just get twenty four pans of pans yeah. cans of brewdog? I did. I did get twenty four. And cans. now, what could you possibly need? Well, I've drank a lot of them. Jesus! Oh. <laughs> Crikey! Wow! Well, Slow times. 
when you're at home all day opening beers at two o'clock in the afternoon no i'm only joking i haven't I haven't drank them all but what i've noticed is um when pamela runs out of wine she drinks my beer uh she's not, you know I she, see. two seconds while i just mm. fucking fix my piece of phone Sweet baby Jesus, stay home. Um, yeah, when Pamela, yeah. when Pamela, so she, I was like seeing her wine dangerously low, and it's not that I have a problem sharing beer. You know, Dylan does share mm. beer, but <laughs> Pamela's like, ah, I don't really like beer. I'm like, all right, sick. And then she runs out of wine, and then I'm like, cracked open a beer. I see, yeah, mm, okay. fancied one. How much wine you got? None. Oh, so you did then? Yeah, you just wanted my I beer. See. So I thought I'll yeah. just go up to the off license quick, get a couple of bottles of wine keep her occupied for the next four days mm. keep her away from my beer or well, at least four hours yeah yeah this <laughs> afternoon so i was like just popped up zipped up to the street because it's literally up the yeah. road me up the out of the side road into the fucking actual main road going into Bangor. Uh-huh. no cars it was oh. delightful carving whoosh, around the islands and stuff up to the petrol station where the off license is and yeah. I see people queuing for what I thought was the ATM machine. And I thought, why are fucking people queuing for the ATM machine? We've been told not to use cash. Yeah. So I go past them like a player yeah. through the garage yeah. forecourt. Remember, I'm in just a pair of shorts, T-shirt, backwards cap, vans with no shoes, yeah. floating. Music playing. Music playing in my head. Yeah. yeah. Roll up to the yeah. off-license door only to realize that was the motherfucking queue for the offies. From the door, out the door, up the street, well, around the corner, past the spa, all the way to the ATM, another elbow bend, up to the main road, down the main street, to the oh. bus station. There must have been like 30 people in the queue, and they were Whoa. all two meters afar- a fart. All two a meters fart. a fart. Yeah. So you can imagine how long that queue is. Like, you do the math, yeah. right? 30 people times six feet, don't know what that is, but long. But then like I, a, but I, I'm a, a pretty way. quick person. I work shit up. I worked out very quickly as I arrived what had happened. And before I brought the one wheel to what looked like any kind of a slow halt, I just went past them all. And I was, so I was like this, mm. oh fuck. And then I assessed everyone in the queue very quickly. There was a lot of, mm. no offense to anyone here, but there was a Uh-oh. lot of, Uh-oh. there was a lot of uh, football, 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 are you, are you? football t-shirts Boinks. in khaki shorts with calf tattoos it was a lot of that you know just Boinks. i don't know hooligans what, yeah yeah hooligans i mean there was just a lot of that vibe going on you know and just they're all just there well you know that's there. that summer vibe yeah yeah exactly i'm surprised they had the I, i'm surprised they had the football shirts on oh yeah uh, over yeah. here it gets hot everyone takes their tops off yeah sunning nips everywhere it was just there was a like, lot wow the rules a, don't apply anymore yeah and there was just a lot <laughs> of that the sun's out and not that i'm judging but yeah. i'm fully judging but there was just a lot of yeah. that and I just thought, you know the guys that drink beer from a box at the beach when the sun's out? Yeah, and you're like, is that even cold? Yeah. No, I just bought it on the way down here. I'm just going to drink it out of the box yeah. and not share. There was a lot Proper of that. Hero. So yeah. I saw them all and I just thought, fuck, you know, fuck that. I'd rather share my beer. My, you know. So then I... Uh... Oh, that's a sad, hold on. That's, a, that's, that's times, isn't it? So you'd rather share your precious beer with uh, with Pamela then wait in a queue to be quite honest I might have even gone out without any any drinking at all to save being in a queue I fucking hate queues yeah I, there's several things about coronavirus that, that you know the new normal is going to be amazing in some ways and shitty in others mm-hmm. new normal means I think we won't have to shake hands anymore which I fucking cannot wait for because the amount of people that don't wash their hands after they go to the toilet is just insane mm-hmm. so i'm totally happy with that no more you know contact unless it's kind of close loved ones totally cool with that mm-hmm. however queuing fucking hate that at the best of times let alone having to start the queue 400 meters away from the shop that's just not acceptable yeah but then just it's not acceptable. but it's main amazing stuff like people now when you walk down the pavement people walk towards uh-huh. you and they see you they fucking move man they move to the other side uh, of the street <laughs> It's great. Not in London. Oh, it's Not great here. It's brilliant. Like there's, Don't give a there's a lot of that stuff. And like when you go up to a, uh, an aisle and you look at an aisle mm. and you go, oh, I want to get some. If you're there, no one comes near you, which I quite like. But the handshake thing, I like handshakes. I get what you're yeah. saying about the dirt, dirty hands and shit. I quite like a good handshake. But as a white person, we are shit at handshakes. Like it's just not something in our DNA that we can do effectively without some sort of practice. 
What do you mean? Uh, what you, just what, uh, pl- please tell me what you're talking about because I have no idea. All right, let me start my camera. I don't camera know how be- you made this a racial thing. Well, okay, I'm going to start my camera <laughs> and keep going. Okay. Oh, wow, it's going to be a long one. It's going to be more than five minutes. A, it gives us Strap a few in, minutes. everyone. Um, <laughs> it's just, it's, um, it, well, my brother and I have this joke. We're sort of, it's a, it's a joke between us, really. When well, I was between all of us, uh-huh. where we just laugh yeah. and go, white people, all right? But when my brother does, oh, he okay. goes, white people. Because we just, we lack a sort of natural coolness to, to achieve certain, mm-hmm. like, have you ever seen two black guys approach each other and ha- throw a handshake down? Uh, not to memory. No. Oh, right. Okay. Well, <laughs> like, I have. It's not something I watch out for. Maybe because d- well, grow- maybe growing up in South Africa, we had friends in school who were black, so they'd they'd have done that. And if you, I've been out sometimes, and and like we were, I think it all came up part when we were in this bar once at Belfast, so we saw these two black guys walk in mm-hmm. to the bar, right? And in we're Northern just Ireland, guys in London. Yeah. Well, this because but in Northern Ireland, there's not a lot of mixed actually race they are few and far North, between. Yeah. I'll be honest. So they, are, they yeah. walked into a bar that's normally just packed with generic Northern Irish white people, and they walked in, and mm. they just they just had this swagger about them, and we watched them like, my fuck, man, why don't we look that cool? And they just like they stood with confidence. Everything they did, hand there was a lot of handshaking and shit. And then this mm-hmm. is where this came from. We started talking about what it was like in school and. Then we joked about mm-hmm. white guys can never just like it's awkward. It's too like they never white guys never know they can't see the other dude and then register mm-hmm. this is what's happening. So uh, uh-huh. we have we have a mate Warren. If he's probably not gonna listen, maybe he's listening. Worst handshaker in the world, uh-huh. abysmal at it. But even mates, you know, you walk up, and I like to just go straight out, arm out, and straight out just a real formal handshake. But then you get uh-huh. the guys that come in like for that that like slap and chest bump pull you in for a hug so, so the, sometimes i'll do that but then a few times i've gone for a regular handshake and then someone's done the, the pull you in hug thing and then i've ended up with my oh. hand just like on their stomach while they've h- yeah. hugged me you know or like i've gone for the pull in how well have and you they, known these and per- people they that hug you sometimes very well sometimes it's just like yo what's up bro and then you go in i mean you go in for the grab grab twist pull in See, this is and they this don't. Is, this then is your why... face ends up. You almost kiss. Yeah. See, this is why. Just fucking get rid of it. Just don't need it. It's too much hassle. It's like it's like I just. But only for. I honestly believe only for white guys. I just. I don't I, think I've there's black guys a... going. We have an issue with handshakes. They just read each other and they're like, and it's done. Whether it's claps and slaps and knuckle bumps and I could barely achieve a fist bump with a friend of mine without it looking stupid. I walk in and I have to, I almost I just, have to say out loud, fist bump, you know, that, and then yeah, even yeah. then it's like, oh, it's awkward. And that, at that point, when I see, when I, when I'm in a bar with my brother and we see two white guys do that and we see them approach and he'll elbow me, be like, where do you see this? And I'll be like, awkward. There'll be a couple of shuffled steps as they both try to read each other. And then one guy goes for a handshake, but he's too high. The other guy adjusts his movement a mid handshake and then one guy forms a knuckle and then you end up with just a, a guy grabbing a guy's fist and at that point mm. we go white people I see I think it's I, I don't may, well I don't know I don't see it as that complicated the only thing I get confused on not confused is that I, I either just go in for the handshake and that's it or actually no handshake at all is preferable <laughs> or you go in for like the normal business handshake that's what I, I do, do one of them that's fine uh, if it's someone I know uh-huh. quite well uh, it's a hug, yeah, yeah, definitely. What I do not like <laughs> is when people you've not met before, and this happened to me once, and I could have punched the guy. He did. He came up, and I was like, I went to you know do the handshake, do the like, oh hi, this is I can't remember his name was Michael, whatever. Uh, do the handshake, and he went no, let's hug, and uh, then just grabbed me. Yeah, and he went sorry. He said I'm sorry. I'm I'm a hugger, and yeah. I was close to saying. You know what? I'm not a fucking hugger, yeah. and now yeah. you have no teeth. Yeah, because well, yeah. it's like I I hate that that oh I'm a hugger. It's like that's good for you, mate. I'm not. Yeah, I don't know you. Never met you. If you know my friends, close friends, I'll hug. Like if I saw you, I'd give you a hug. Yeah, I I'd, hu- I'd hug you, you know? for I'd spoon yeah. you to be honest. Overnight, we have. That's not a that's not a might. That's a have. <laughs> I'm talking. 
<laughs> oh, there's just fucking bits of foam just falling out of the sky here. Um, but you're right about that. I get you. Well, no, that's what came next. It's astro- <laughs> COVID-19 asteroids. asteroids. Volcano. Volcano. Foam, foam rain. Foam. But foam our, rain. our mutual friend, Tim Burr, he is a hugger. And oh, yeah. the first time I met... Tim, I, if you're listening, get yeah, fucked. Yeah, yeah, get fucked with your hugs, Tim, you bastard. Yeah. Um, first He's time like I a met, big bear as well. He gives a good hug. Like it's me, like getting... I'm not insulted if, by a hug. And when I met him no. the first time in real life, um, mm. he was like, I, he said exactly that. I'm a hugger. And he embraced me in his clutches, right? Um, turns out uh, I was meeting the wrong... I thought he was another Tim. That's a whole other story. So not only yeah, was I yeah. meeting the wrong guy, but he was hugging me, right? And yeah. I was like, I'm, I'm not going on to Tinder ever again. Yeah. Um, no. But... <laughs> Uh, That's because gr- you should grinder, have been on Grindr. Grindr, sorry. <laughs> Fuck, it fucked me own joke up. Bastard. <laughs> Reverse. I'm never going on the Grindr ever again. But um, yeah. uh, the problem with that is that I, I'm not really insulted wildly. Oh, fuck you, light. Oh, I don't care. We're overexposed for the rest of the show. Um, and I don't really care about the hug thing. I'm not insulted by a hug. But what I do have a slight problem with is the idea that a hug's very... Um, what's the word for it? Invasive? Intrusive. Intrusive. It's very intrusive. Mm. And it's fine. Yeah. Not a problem with it. But it, but uh, being the it's person reser- who's intruding, you yeah. you should have to adjust to the non-intrusive person, not the other way around. Yeah, yeah. So if See, you I, go, yeah, I'm I don't a hugger, like you should forced. be like, that's okay. I'm a, I'm a handshaker. A and they go, okay, no yeah. problem. And they should handshake. Because if yeah. I just walked up and I said, oh, I'm a... I'm a ball sack rubber. Yeah. No one's going to go, oh, okay, cool. Let's rub ball sacks. And then we could just scissor each other <laughs> in the middle of the fucking park. That's not happening. No, that's uh, not acceptable. So nah. yeah, no point is someone going to be like, oh, I'll have to be uncomfortable and scissor this other guy in the park. Yeah. Because yeah. he's a ball sack rubber. Do you know what I mean? Stop ball don't sack like, rubbing it, it's people. A bit, it's a bit like being vegan. Yeah, because you know how like when someone oh. comes in and they go, oh, I'm, you know, just so you know, I'm vegan. And then you have to adjust your whole meal to accommodate them. Yeah. If you were going around to their house going, actually, I eat meat. Would they then go, oh, I'll just whip out a steak then? Oh, dude, this I is like such so. a big, this is such a big conversation. This one, though, isn't it? Like it could I mean, be. I could... mean, I have done the vegan thing, so I, I know both sides. Yeah, And I've done a vegan thing as well. Pamela, like for the most, like uh, up until isolation here pamela wasn't eating meat yeah um but like yes i agree with you there if you're vegan and you come to my house if you if i'm inviting you to my house so and you're vegan i should also cater for you mm. i should try to do and i i would yeah, yeah, try to adjust because yeah. sometimes we just have we have vegetarian meals or vegan meals or whatever yeah. um you know we're not just like dragging cows in from the street and just chopping those fuckers up but yeah yeah i, I get what you mean like um it's just it's the expectation yeah you know it's tricky and you should cater because it's like you know if you had someone uh, i don't know like with a peanut allergy you wouldn't go and do chicken satay would you well you might if you don't like them i mean (laughs) yeah yeah chicken chicken satay yeah I mean, that's got peanut in yeah, it. Yeah, I know, oh, I Jesus. know that, but Do I just I have to that explain wouldn't have been the you? obvious oh, thing God. I'd have said to describe that. I mean, it's very. Well, if they're going round for dinner, you're not going to go. Oh, anyway, I wouldn't well, bring well, you well, around we're, we're not in. Satay. We're not in banger at the moment. We go come round for dinner. We've got peanut butter yeah. sandwiches. <laughs> you have peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. <laughs> come on, Randy. Um, oh, it's Friday. It's special. <laughs> we'll put butter on. We'll get the raspberry conserve out. And if you're lucky, spread it thick, guys. It's a Friday. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, well, we use the up. mighty white. Let's actually oh, let's it. chat let's about that though, this. because there's a whole load of that what? stuff. Stop. Not now. We're gonna do but the this. Vegan, not now. Let's do this that, tomorrow. See the vegan thing. Well, you're not vegans, but yeah. generally, people having to flex and bend for other people. Because I got loads on that, and that will be. On tomorrow's episode. Thanks for tuning with Dylan in. Dylan and Ryan. Don't be fucking hugging this... people if they're not huggers. If you're white, no. stick to a high five. <laughs> oh, God. Now, that might be worse. <gasps> Jesus. Yeah, there's no. Just nod. Just nod from a distance yeah. and then let that be that. All right? Thanks yeah. for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.